Hey everyone, in today's video, I wanna show you this new product from Apple called AirTag. I wanna show you how to set it up and how to use it to track your lost items. That's basically what it is. It's a physical tracker that you place on anything that you want. So you could put on your keys, you could put on your luggage, any expensive electronics. And then if you lose those or if they get stolen or if you misplace them, you could go ahead and use this to find it. So I'll show you exactly how to set it up. Basically, all you need to set it up is the AirTag, which they sell in a single pack and a four pack. I'll link it below in the description if you wanna check it out. I have the four pack here, and you also need your iPhone, and you need iOS 14. So a couple of things you gotta turn on as well. You need to turn on Find My, Bluetooth, and Wi-Fi or cell data because you do need internet connection. Now there are similar products in the market as well. So I have the tile here and I'll make a different video about comparing these two. But right now let's focus on the AirTag and setting it up. And here's what an individual AirTag looks like here. This is one of them out of the four pack. So the very first step is just take the plastic wrap off and these are battery operated. So you actually have to remove this plastic here to activate one. And then you'll hear a little sound here once you activate it. And once it's activated, bring your iPhone next to it here and go ahead and open up your iPhone, unlock it. And just like that, the AirTag should show up right here. So all I did was unlock my phone. As long as you have Bluetooth and Wi-Fi turned on or cell data if you don't have Wi-Fi, so I have all of that turned on. And Find My is always activated to find my other devices. I'll just go ahead and press connect right here to connect the two. And it's gonna ask me what I'm using it for. So let's say I wanted to just put that on my keys here. And I'm actually waiting for the key holder here. I'll press connect for it. And then on this page, it says register it tag to your Apple ID. So you do have to do that. I'll continue. And then it's gonna take a few seconds here to set up and it's all set. That's all it took for me to connect it to my iPhone and to my Find My. So if you get the four pack, that's all it takes to set it up. And once it's set up, let me show you how to track an item down that you misplaced. Now I'll just go back to the homepage here and I need to find my app. The Find My app, if you just scroll down and just search Find My, this is what the app looks like. And you could also search for it in the App Store if you don't have it. Go ahead and open it here. And you want to, on the very bottom menu, go to Items. So devices will show all your Apple devices, but items will show you the things that the AirTag is tracking. And if you scroll up here, you could also add another AirTag here. So to add your second one, if you have the four pack, you'll just press add new item, or you could identify find items. That's if you find another one, I'll cover that in a little bit. Now tap on your misplaced item here on the list. You could go ahead and if you misplace something, play sound. Let me show you what that sounds like. So if it's nearby, you'll hear that noise. But a lot of times it won't be nearby, so you need to press find. If you press find, what it does is actually goes into find mode here. And right now it's right next to me. Let me go ahead and place it somewhere else to show you what it looks like if it's not right next to me. And in that case, it creates this little arrow for me to show me if I am pointing in the right direction. So I'm actually pointing to it about seven feet away and it's gonna tell me to walk towards it. And if I get away from it, this is what it's gonna do here. Now let's say it's nowhere near. Let me exit here to show you what happens then. You could actually slide up in this menu and activate loss mode here. So you can go ahead and press enable on loss mode. And when you enable loss mode, it says notify when found. So if it can't find the location here, it will notify you when it does. You could pair lock. This item is linked to your Apple ID so no one can pair it to their device. Or you could go ahead and leave a number and a message here so someone else finds it, they could contact you. So let me press continue here. So this is the message that you could put on the AirTag. So then if someone else finds it, they'll have this information here in loss mode. So that's the three different options you have to find something. You could make it play a sound. So if this is attached to your key and somewhere around the house, you may be able to find it that way. 
you could go ahead and turn on that tracker that I showed you with the arrow. So you could actually point your phone to that direction, turns green, walks you to it. Or you could activate loss mode if you can't find it with any of those options. And back in the find my app under the items tab here, you could see I could add another one here. So I could add all four if I have the four pack. And if I find someone else's, I could press find an item and it will scan nearby here to try to find so this is if you find another air tag that is not yours you could go ahead and activate this and then find the person's information to let them know you found their item and i did read an article about privacy issues so they actually have an option built into this that is by default and if someone actually places this on your belonging to try to track you it will notify you if a stranger an air tag that is not yours is tracking you so that is kind of built in and it will notify you if that's happening, if an air tag is tracking you and you don't have any knowledge of it. So that's really nice to have. And I'm sure they're gonna update this all the time. This is brand new at the time of this recording. So they're gonna add all kinds of things to it and I'll make updated videos as usual on this channel. Thanks so much for watching the video. Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for easy to follow tech tutorials and I'll see you next time.